hello friends welcome again and uh, this is my new project order management system and i have developed this project in node.js mysql and angular so node version i am using node version 14 angular version is 11 and mysql version is 5.6 we have used node.js for developing the api angular for developing front end and mysql for storing the database angular is getting data from mysql using the node.js api so each of the technology is the separate stack right so mysql node.js is performing all of the crud application create read update delete operations uh, in mysql and ap uh, and no angular is uh, consuming node.js api to sending data to the mysql database right so these all technology stacks i have used for developing this project order management system and this is a mini project right so let's start with the functionality go through that what we have developed inside this project so the project title is node.js uh, node.js project on order management system right so for running this project you need to run node.js application using the command node space server.js and node.js application will be started for running the angular application you need to run ng serve right before running this both commands you need to install the npm package using the npm install right once you uh, run both of the application then for accessing the front end you need to open localhost colon 4200 once you open this pay op, open this url then you will get this page right here this is the admin restricted you will not be able to access the internal pages without login right so let's start with the functionality go to that what we have implemented what we have developed inside this project so this is the home page of the project login page of the project right and the user id is admin and the password is test one two three four once you log inside the system you will get the admin panel so this is the admin panel you can see these are the some menu options right these are the menu options you, you, this is the bootstrap theme means this this theme will work perfectly on your mobile devices as well as on your tab right so this is the first option is product report this is a product report all of the product which is available in your database will be displayed here if you want to edit product just click on the edit button that product will be open in the editable format you can update the details and after that you can save the details right that product will be updated into the database if you want to delete any product just click on the delete and that item will be deleted from the database currently there are 10 items but if you click on the delete then after deleting there is nine item remaining right if you want to add new product just click on the add products after that you need to enter all of the product details and after that hit on the save details and it will be saved into the database this is the add product section this is the add cells this is a sales dashboard for starting the sales you need to enter the customer name first and after that the customer mobile number so, right so i am entering the customer name here and the mobile number once you click on the start sales then you will get this dashboard right here this is saying add item into the cart so this product drop down will contain all of the products which you have added earlier this is the quantity right here i am selecting anything mustard oil quantity to add so you can see the price is getting calculated automatically <clears throat> right you can see here right so here in the cart this is a cell id this is a product name this is a price per unit this is a total units total cost and the action if you want to delete any item from here just click on the delete button that item will be deleted after that if you want to add anything just select the item and the quantity once you click on that that item will be added into the cart right so after entering all of the details if you want to save the details of this page then just hit the save details save sales details once you click on the save sales details then all of the information information will be saved into the database and you will get this page right you can access this page later also because we have saved all of the information to the database this is a sales report it contains all of the sales history page right 
these all details are coming from the database if you want to see the details of your last sales history then you can see this is order number 70 and once you click on this arrow icon then you will be able to see the sales history so you can see this is the sales history page logout once you click on the logout then all of the session will be destroyed and you will not be able to access the internal admin pages right so you can click on you can log out from here or either from here right once you click on the logout then your session will be destroyed okay you can see you has been redacted to the login page once you log in then you will be able to access the hidden page also right after the login so these are all functionalities i have developed inside this project if you need more functionality in this project if you need more enhancement just put into the comment as i told you earlier this is a node.js mysql and angular based project right so Thanks for watching the video. Thank you very much. And don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest projects, videos on the latest technologies. Thank you. Thank you very much.